Hello, this is Amy with Amy Astro, and today I would like to show you how I set up my Pix and Site workspace and create a template project to help improve workflow. Let's get started. All right, we're going to open up Pix and Site, and the first thing you see when you open up the program is this process console is over here on the top left corner. This is where I generally like to process all my photos and I find that it gets in the way. So when you hover over each one of these buttons, they show you what they will do. And if you choose placement, you can choose this to be in the top left, left, left bottom, right top, right bottom. I like to choose the left bottom, but this is a personal preference. So it opens and shows me everything going on here and I can still open up and work on my images over here. Okay, so we're gonna create a template project today. And this is a project that I will open up at the beginning of every project and it sets up my workspace for me so I don't have to think about it and do it later. And I like having all my processes open and ready to go. So what we do is we start with the process pull down menu and you've got all processes and all the processes are over here for you in alphabetical order. You can hunt through this list or you can go through these little mini sub menus and find them here. What I'll do is I go to the first one and I say, okay, I'm gonna use automatic background extractor. So I'll choose it, it opens up, I minimize it and I drag it over to the side. And I will do this for every process that I use. So while I get all these open, I'll be right back. All right, now I've got all these processes open. You can see I've got quite a mess on my screen, but I'm just gonna go through and minimize each one. Okay, now that they're all minimized, I will sit here and sort them and put them in a logical order as how I like to process my photos. See, I'm missing one. No big deal. Go back and find it. There it is. Okay, so now I have everything over here on the left in an order that I like to use them. And if I find later down the line that they're out of order some, I just shift them around and resave this template project. But let's start with saving our template project. Go to File, Save Project, and let's give our project a name and a location. So we'll go over here, I'm gonna drop it here, and let's call it Template. Project 2 and save. You can give it an author and you can give it a description if you like. And I remind myself when I open this, I've got to do a save as and say OK. So now this is a project. It's my template project, and it's what I'm going to open up every time I start an Astro photo. So let's test this theory. Let's load an empty project. Yes, we know. All right, you're back to the very beginning of Pix and Sight. So now you can go to File, and typically I find mine under Open Reset, Project Files, and there's the last project that I did. 
but if you need to, you can go to Load Project, go to your folder, this is project number two, open, and you'll see all these processes opening up and are ready to go. So now I'm ready to start editing my images. In my next video, I will show you how I organize files so you don't get taken over by a file jungle. If you like this video, please subscribe below so you can see when I upload new astrophotography videos. Thank you for watching. This is Amy Astro. Till next time, clear skies.